So Brian, how are you today? I'm good. I'm Brian O'Hollera and you might know me from such crazy cult hit movies as Clerks, Clerks 2, Vulgar, Brutal Massacre, tons of others, The Happening, I was in that as well. Yep. And I'm here with Brie, who works here at the Paragol Cinema 8. I do. And she's thinking she's going to interview me, which <laughs> she's like, I don't even know what to say. So I said, I'm just going to hijack this whole thing anyway. Okay. So being that we have George Lucas, no, I'm kidding. We have the guy who made that cool kind of promotion for Star Wars. He's behind the camera. He's not going to turn back to himself because that would look awkward. And you people watch him be like, whoa, what do we do? I don't need to see the behind the scenes. Anyway, what am I doing here? You're probably going to ask. Is yes, that what you're asking yes. Me? What are you doing in Paris? With the uh, wonderful city. Of Paris. I'm here to promote the wonderful Comic Expo, Friendly Neighborhood Comic Expo. Here in town this weekend. Today is Friday, so we're going to do like a pre-party launch thing by showing a screening of the original film Clerks, okay. from 1994. Good movie. Good movie. Yeah. And apparently, I heard tickets uh, sales were brisk. Yeah, that we're pretty, pretty much good. almost sold out. Yeah. So, popcorn, you know, sales are going through the roof. We'll see what happens later on. Yeah. Um, in the meantime, we're also selling tickets here for the Comic-Con. We have some really great guests and some fun vendors, and uh, this whole weekend should be great. As everybody knows in the cinema business, it's good to have rain on the weekends. Yes, and I'm for hearing new business. We had rain all day today, or on and off today in the afternoon. Tomorrow it's supposed to be on and off again, so hopefully we'll be uh, nice and brisk, you know, brisk with this. So how long so. have you been working here, Bray? I have worked here for 10 years. 10 years? Yeah, since I was 16. Wow. I like the theater business. Watched I, a lot of movies. That is true. That yeah. you, you know, you gotta be a big cinema buff. I mean, look at Quentin Tarantino. He ran a video Tarantino. store forever, yeah. and that's how he learned how to become a filmmaker, because of his love for film. Yeah. What's it like being in movies? How's that? It's a lot of fun. You know, um, I've been very fortunate to have worked with some really great writers. Obviously, starting off in film with Kevin Smith was mm -hmm. not a bad thing to start with. He's oh, yeah. an incredibly funny writer. Oh, yeah. uh, we both were working on the very, his very first film, my very first time acting in film. So experiencing all the firsts that we did together, going to Sundance and whatnot, and then moving on to other films like Mall Rats and Chasing Amy and, and Dogma. Yeah. And then coming back with Jay and Bob and, and doing Clerks too. It was a lot of fun. And I always equate it to people who went to, if you ever did a summer camp, Every year where other schools, kids from other schools all go to one camp during the summer and you're catching up, oh, how you been, how was the school year, and then your camp is over and you all go back to your schools. Yeah. It's kind of how I feel like when making films. It's like a whole bunch of friends getting together, you're doing a very hilarious and fun time, but then it, it's got to end and wrap up the shoot and yeah. you hope to see each other next time. And so uh, our next time that we get together probably will be for Mall Rats, the TV series I found out TV a couple series. of weeks ago. Uh, yeah, we He's going to switch it from too. a from a theater uh, theatrical release to now, I, I think it's a ten-part series. From what I mean, from what the internet's telling me, so. that's pretty. Yeah, I was wondering about that. We we heard rumors about like a Mallrats two. Kind yeah, of, so. and it was for the longest time for like a, a, almost a whole year. He was talking about it, and things got delayed, logistics and stuff. And then he went on to to make that that film Yoga Hosers with his daughter mm -hmm. and uh, Johnny Depp's daughter, uh, which is in, <laughs> he's taken around the country right now. I'm sure it'll eventually play here. Um, and so now he's ready to gear up and start shooting this as a TV series. So that'll be kind of cool. Yeah, that'll be neat. Do you know when it, where it's going to play on? Yeah, when it's going to begin? No idea. I've been told last time I was, when it was still being an actual sequel, I was told to be ready to film in October. It's coming okay. October. Now, this has been pushed back three or four times already. So I'm hoping that, yes, everything is going to be geared up and we're going to start shooting. Um, I think we're taking over a mall just south of Philadelphia. I think it's at the Exton Mall, just south of Philadelphia. So if you know anybody in that area, I'm sure we're going to be looking for extras and stuff. That's to keep in touch with Kevin's uh, Twitter or Facebook account, my Twitter or Instagram account, same thing. So. Is it going to have a lot of like the original people from the first mall rats? Yeah, that? Kevin went around uh, a year ago asking, uh, if not like 98% of the people who were in the first one to be part of the second one and, yeah. and take photos of themselves holding up the number two, meaning mall rats two. Uh, we got pretty much everybody. The only, the only one I didn't think he asked, but I don't know if he's even written in the script, was the Ben Affleck character. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, ben has been, good. obviously yeah. Ben's very busy yeah. in Batman, and now he's doing the, the next Batman, and so uh, I don't know if, it, I think it'd be funny if Ben would just show up in the next Small Rats movie as Batman, standing oh, next funny. to Silent Bob as Silent Bob Batman. I, I think that'd be a funny part if, uh, if I was to write the script, but I don't. So. Uh, is there any talks of another uh, Clerks movie, Clerks 3? Clerks 3, the script has been written. We've had that in our possession for about two years now. Oh, wow. And uh, 
hopefully once this 10 part series of Mallrats gets filmed and airs and hopefully the buzz of that that viewist universe is back in the forefront of mainstream America again. Hopefully we can get started on a Clerks 3 and, and get everybody back for that as well. Um, knowing what the script is, it's literally like buying someone their Christmas gift in February. We just ugh, I can't wait to see their reaction when I give it to them. Yeah. That's how it is knowing what the script is and not being able to talk about it. So. Yeah. But hopefully we can and uh, maybe we'll be back for that. Screening oh, that I hope so. That'd be awesome. Right? Oh yeah.